Did you hear the news? Did you hear the news? The Immortal Enchantments is being turned into a TV show! <laughs> On October 12th, it was finally announced that Constantine Films, who owns the rights to the Mortal Instruments and the Infernal Devices, is moving forward and developing a TV show for the Mortal Instruments. Woo! I want to see these books be turned into something. It's something. I mean, we got the Mortal Instruments City of Bones as a movie, and it 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 wasn't good. They changed the entire plot line of the story at the very end. It was cheesy, it was super teenagery, and I just think that it could be just redone so much better. There are a ton of different ways this could turn out. This could either be really, really, really good, like Outlander or like Game of Thrones, or it could be really, really, really bad. They could like turn it into the Vampire Diaries and just have it not be at all like the source material or Pretty Little Liars. So, it's been over a year since Mortal Instruments City of Bones premiered on the big screens on August 21st, 2013. And now finally it's October and we're getting some news of some further development. Because of the fans' voice and the passion behind this fandom, they are moving forward with a TV show. If y'all don't know or don't remember, uh, the Mortal Instruments City of Bones bombed in the box office. Yes, it made $31 million in the box office. Um, that means national and worldwide. Guess how much it took to make the film? $60 million. So, was the studio going to go ahead and make another feature film like City of Ashes? No! The Mortal Instruments, unfortunately, is not going to be a major huge franchise like The Hunger Games or Harry Potter or Twilight. And that's very sad, but we have to move on and we have to accept what's happening now. I broke this news on pagetopremiere.com, so you can go follow our website on Twitter and on Facebook if you want to keep updated with all the latest, greatest book to movie slash TV shows adaptations. And there were a couple questions that I wanted answered. And fortunately, the one article we got from Hollywood Reporter didn't really say anything. They just said, we're getting a TV show. It's going to be shot at the beginning of this year, so 2015. It's going to hit at the perfect time for pilot season. And we don't have a network yet. How the show is going to go, we have no idea yet. One of the biggest questions I got from Page to Premiere is, are we going to see the movie cast transition into the TV show? There are lots of people who want to see Jamie Campbell Bauer and Lily Collins in this TV show. Unfortunately, that's going to be a big fat N.O., guys. I honestly don't think the movie cast wants anything to do with the TV show. First of all, they're going to be locked into doing filming a TV show for who knows how many years if it if it's successful on television. Number two, they might not want to be a part of the Mortal Instruments anymore because it bombed. It was a bomb. It didn't do well. Critics didn't like it. Number three, it would be a smart decision to start from scratch. Scrap the first movie, that doesn't exist, start with a new cast, start with a whole new crew, just don't have anything to do with the movie because, hello, the movie bombed. They shouldn't have the old cast with the new TV show. It would just held the stigma that the movie held, right? If this movie is going to be a TV show, I don't want to think about the movie when I'm watching the show, you know? I love Jamie Campbell Bauer, and I love Jemima West, and I love Robert Sheehan as all those characters. And it would be so great to see them on the TV show, but guys, guys, they're not gonna be on the TV show. You just, you have to think about it. I mean, if Constantine is smart enough, they'll start from scratch, like I said before. They will totally redo the first book, because I want that first book redone. It was horrible adaptation, and they should start from the beginning. It would make absolutely no sense for the show to pick up where the movie left off, because first of all, they again, they messed up the storyline. Second of all, you would, you would make people have to watch that movie again. I don't know who they're gonna get for the TV show. If they're gonna get new actors, if they're going to get some well-known actors, and that this all actually depends on what kind of budget we have for the show. This opens up to my next question that everyone keeps asking. What network is this show gonna be on? When you film a TV show, you kind of have to film the pilot before you have a network, or you pitch the show to a certain network, like how Game of Thrones is for HBO, or how Stars picked up Outlander before they even filmed it. We won't know what network picks up the Mortal Instruments TV show 
for quite a long time. Constantine might be pitching this show to premium channels, they might be pitching it to cable channels or primetime channels, we don't know. This leaves it open to what kind of budget and what type of TV show are we going to see. My opinion and my dream would be seeing this show on a premium primetime channel like Stars, HBO, Showtime, those channels that you have to pay for extra. We've seen what Stars and HBO has done with the Game of Thrones and Outlander. I mean, hello, I'm a huge Outlander fan and it's such a treat to be able to watch that show exactly how it is in the books. It's such a treat for the fans and I would love to see that for the Mortal Instruments, especially since those premium channels only do about 12 to 16 episodes per season. City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass are pretty large books but they aren't huge books. I don't know how much there is actually to fill like a regular 22, 23 episode season that would be on a primetime network. I would be very scared if say Fox or the CW or NBC or ABC decided to pick up the Mortal Instruments. I want to see all the blood, I want to see all the demons and all the guts and all the yucky you know, PG-13, not suitable for television stuff, but then there isn't really any sex in these books. Say like a premium channel like Stars and HBO, they can show that stuff and they like showing it and I don't know if they would actually pick up a YA book that doesn't have you know, any sexy stuff, sexy times going on in it. They show that stuff to get viewer ratings up right? And I wouldn't want them adding sexy times in the books. No, I don't want to see that. That's weird until, you know, it actually happens in the books. I'm not going to spoil anything if you haven't finished the series. A lot of people are saying the CW should pick up the show. <laughs> the CW kind of has a reputation for picking up not very well-known books and just kind of taking them creatively and taking them in a whole new direction. If the CW were to pick up the show, I would want to see only a half season because I don't think one book can fill a whole season. I think that one book could fill like 12 to 16 episodes, but 23 episodes, that would give writers a creative window to add more things in, which I that doesn't need to happen. I would like to stick to the source material, which is why the movie bombed in the first place because this is nothing like the book, at least the ending isn't. The next two places I could see this show on would be like the cable channels, like FX, AMC, you know, AMC has The Walking Dead, FX has like American Horror Story, creepy shows like that, good, well done shows that have big budgets. I could totally see the Mortal Instruments being on like FX or something. I think that would probably like be the perfect place. I wouldn't want to see it on sci-fi because sci-fi, you know, the shows aren't very well produced. The guy who's a showrunner who has been hired to create the show, his name is Ed Dechter and he's had a hit on sci-fi called Helix. I haven't watched it. We'll see. We'll see what this Ed Dechter can do. Or the show might be picked up on like Hulu, Netflix, or Amazon Prime. And I think that would be perfect. Or the show could even go on something like MTV because Teen Wolf is pretty good. I mean, it's not that biggest budget show out there, but I wouldn't be mad if MTV decided to pick up the show. Are we going to see Cassandra Clare's other Shadowhunter Chronicles books come to the silver screen? No idea. Absolutely no idea. Of course, this all depends on if even the Mortal Instruments takes off on TV. My dream is to see two shows. So we would get the one that's happening in the present right now and then we would get the one that's happening in the past. They wouldn't be able to have crossovers aside from like Magnus or something who he could be on like both shows which I think would be just so cool. We would see like Tessa and Will and then we would see Jason Clary and it would just be kind of cool to see the shows are similar and how they are fighting off like you know the the bad characters in each book. I just think that would be so awesome. Even if we do get a season per book, we still have, Cassandra Clare is still writing books and continuing on kind of the Mortal Instruments and, and she's kind of continuing on the Infernal Devices. So with the Mortal Instruments, she's continuing it with the Dark Artifices with Emma Carstairs and then with the Infernal Devices, they have three seasons with that. But then they also have Last Hours, which tells the story of the children of the Infernal Devices. I'm not going to spoil. And then, after those are done with, we have the Wicked Powers. The Wicked Powers follows 
after the Dark Artifices, we'll be seeing the kids, teenagers at the Shadow Winter School in Idris. Idris. So cool, right? That would be such. A, we, that would be the dream. Is just to see how like the present show and then the past show, and then they would be continuing on with the last hours, and then with the Dark Artifices. I mean. <sighs> So many possibilities. I really hope it's like Outlander because Outlander is just so 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 good. I mean it's just such a treat for book fans to be able to see what we read on screen. Like it's just a great adaptation and I want that for the Moral Instruments. I want a great adaptation because these books deserve it. They deserve it and we as fans deserve it and I think this fan base unfortunately for the Vampire Academy, we couldn't get Frostbite off the ground, but the Mortal Instruments fans, there are a lot of us. I'm pretty sure that we can get these ratings up and we can get this show off the ground and we can see it do well and uh, I'm just really excited for the future for this, for the Mortal Instruments. I'm going to be pumped about it until they cast someone that I probably won't like, but I don't care. I mean, I didn't really like Jemima West, but she was like probably the best part of that whole movie. And oh my gosh, just to see like Isabel Lightwood on screen again would just be so awesome. I'm really excited. Probably by maybe after Christmas, we'll start seeing cast. I've never really been able to cast Jace or Clary in my head. They've always, I've always made them up, but I would love to see Molly Quinn as Clary. I just think she would be perfect. And I don't know about Jace. I hope they cast someone new and fresh and very, very Jace-like. I know I love Jamie Campbell Bauer, but um, someone who's more meaty. And it's still up in the air. I mean, networks might not choose to bring the show to television. So we might not even be able to see the pilot if the network decides not to do it. But at least we try. I know this fandom and I know how crazy and how many people love these books. So I think it would be stupid for them not to take the TV show and put it on TV at least. If it's bad, like fans of Delirium said that Delirium pilot was bad, then probably I don't want to see it. But hopefully, hopefully they learn from their mistakes and make it great. Right? Just stick to the book. Just stick to the book because Andre Clarys knows what she's doing. Just stick to it and everything will be good. Okay, guys? I know you guys have thoughts. I know you do. Tell me your opinion on the TV show and what network would you like to see it on? Uh, I think I would definitely like to see it on FX. I will see you all in the future. Thanks everyone for watching. Keep calm and fangirl on. The people who don't like this TV show are mundane fools. <laughs> Are we gonna see Cassandra Clare's other Shadow Ho? Shadow Ho. Oh, my computer's hot.